Hi, this is Dr. Kale Goldfarb of Water and Sports Physical Therapy. Today we're going to talk about the frozen shoulder. There's a lot of patients that we see that come in with a diagnosis frozen shoulder, but in actuality the problem isn't a frozen shoulder. So we're going to talk about both those possibilities, the ones who actually have it, and the symptoms that mimic it. So first of all, what is a frozen shoulder? A frozen shoulder truly is adhesions that form around the capsule of the shoulder joint. So if you picture the humerus of the arm bone and the shoulder girdle, the scapula, you picture when they meet, there's a fibrous ring that goes around it. Imagine that like a uh, saran wrap that surrounds the joint. Sometimes after traumatizing or having any kind of damage to the rotator cuff, which are the muscle and tendons that surround the joint, they invest or connect to the capsule, that saran wrap. So if you injure any of those tendons or deeper where the capsule is, the capsule or tendons will bleed and in blood there's what's called substance P. That is what causes scar tissue. Over time, that capsule will scar down and adhese. The typical symptoms are you start with motion that might hurt when you get to a certain height or level, but then it slowly dissipates because you stop using that range. And you go less high and you have less pain. But if you were to push past that range, it would hurt. Eventually, by the time we see them in physical therapy, typically that person is sort of stuck down through here. If you wait to the point where you're stuck, it's a much harder treatment process and can sometimes take up to two years to de-thaw, to thaw the frozen shoulder out, as they call it, and get better. So the most important thing is get an early diagnostic exam to make sure your problem is or is not a true frozen shoulder, adhesions of the joint capsule. So the other people that we see that usually aren't a frozen shoulder that mimic them are early stages of a shoulder tendonitis. The, the rotator cuff or the bicep tendon can have a, a painful pinching syndrome where you pinch those tendons and that will end up causing pain. And when you hit that spot it just sort of hurts. Uh, sometimes we have what's called a subscapularis uh, uh, irritation or damage and it mimics a frozen shoulder because when you bring your arm up too high it doesn't allow you to get full motion. So what I want to do is just show you the anatomy so we really get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Uh, if it's okay, if you can see in here, this is the normal shoulder when you elevate your arm above your head. And in the front here, there's a capsule. That's the saran wrap we were talking about. Now, the saran wrap, the capsule, can get damaged underneath. And it traumatizes and scars. So every time you try to lift your arm up, it actually gets caught and you end up jamming or impinging the joint causing further damage. So what we want to do is we want to look at the muscles that are involved. As you can see here when you lift your arm up the muscles here underneath stretch. That is the subscapularis, some muscles in the front, the pectoralis minor, pectoralis major, they all get stretched. So if you have a problem where the muscles underneath the shoulder are very tight you'll see that you won't get full range of motion. They'll hit a point where they can't move anymore and then you get pinching in the top of the shoulder. Very important to treat these appropriately. If you don't treat the capsule right away, what will happen is the capsule continue to get frozen. That freezing process will not go away unless you actually mobilize, meaning stretch the capsule. You need a very good manual therapist to do this. The manual therapist should be spending probably at least 30 minutes hands-on on the muscles to loosen them up around the area, but more importantly, on the joint capsule. So if you picture your shoulder, the shoulder needs to actually glide. There's a joint glide that occurs with motion. What the therapist will do is they'll put their hand on your shoulder joint and they will glide that joint to allow the capsule to loosen up. If you don't treat that and you just try to, you know, some places they'll just try to jam your shoulder, you're just causing more trauma to the other parts of the shoulder, like the tendons. And this is a 
process that continues to get worse and worse and you never feel better, causing more tendon damage. So the key is, one, making sure the subscapularis is loose. Two, making sure the joint capsule is aggressively mobilized every time you see your therapist. If you can get early enough treatment, you can literally stop the frozen shoulder in its tracks and reverse the process. We've had people come in with a frozen shoulder and they're better within a month. But very important to see a very good therapist, get a good diagnosis, you get a diagnosis by a physical therapist, you can see your uh, orthopedic uh, surgeon and they can get an MRI, you can see the scar tissue MRI. But knowing what to treat is the key. If you have any questions, feel free to visit us at waterandsportspt.com.